Welcome to another episode of Radio Views. Today, the postdoctoral researcher Thalia Trajano is going to talk about the observational results in the mysterious gamma ray regions in blazars. Enjoy! Hello! In my last paper, I tried to solve a mystery in blazars, where the gamma rays are produced. Today, we know that approximately 50% out of all galaxies of the universe are active which means that the supermassive black hole that is situated in their center is accreting matter. This process makes the central region of these galaxies to be extremely bright. In many cases, a pair of bipolar relativistic jets are launched from the same region. When the jet axis is aligned with our line of sight, we call this galaxy a blazer. Blazers are shining across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves up to gamma rays. Gamma rays are produced when low energy photons collide with nearby relativistic electrons. From this collision, photons are gain energy and become gamma rays. This process is known as the inverse Compton scattering. The exact location where this process is taking place is not yet fully understood. Gamma ray telescopes cannot show us the location where the high energy emission is produced. This problem can be solved by employing very long baseline interferometric observations. VLBI is an elegant technique where a number of radio telescopes all around the world are observing simultaneously the same source in the sky. The combined signal that we got is equivalent with the one obtained from a radio telescope as big as the Earth. The image that we construct out of this data is so detailed that allow us to distinguish moving features and fine structures close to the black hole. The combination of VLBI images and variability measurements in different frequencies enabled us to roughly distinguish two different regions in blazers where the gamma rays are produced, near and far from the central engine. In the near sight scenario, it was believed until recently that the photons for the inverse Compton scattering come from the broad line region. Texas 2013 plus 37 is a powerful blazer in the Cygnus constellation. We observe it for more than 10 years in radio and gamma rays. Throughout a detailed analysis, we found that the photons from the inverse Compton scattering were not provided by the broadline region, but from the obscuring dusty tolls around the central engine. Thanks for watching.